Hey everybody, it's Gamaragi. We're back with Folklore. Last time we fought our way through the Endless Corridor. Uh, the rest of it, anyway. Uh, through some very tricky, tricky battles. Tricky battles. And, uh, now we're one misnismin' me away from fighting the Folklore of this place. Uh, so I'm going to equip what I need right now. I already forgot what I need, so we're gonna take a look at this page again. Alright, so I need uh, a water dude, a uh, rock block, a clock dude, and slicey dice. Okay. So, let's see here. Blocker, get the slicer already. Clockman and a water guy. Bam? Should work? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. It's been a while since I uh, <laughs> practiced this part. It's the door. Um. Is that my fear? My fear is the door. So last time they said uh, this thing will block the way until the person overcomes their fear. Uh, or something. I want to know what I'm supposed to do. I already forgot. Maybe Levain knows. Hey, Levain. What in the world? You have the spirit of a messenger, but you lack the strength. It would destroy you. What you see there is your own fears. You claim that you wish to know your past, when in fact you are too frightened to face it. Go back to the village and note the depth of your fears, and never show your face in that netherworld again. Well, jeez. What's the point of facing my fears if uh, I can't uh, conquer them and move on? I mean, come on. Never come back. Well, then I don't even want to look at the... Oh, hey, you know what I completely forgot about? <laughs> even though I said I wouldn't forget? I want to get those cloaks. I want to get those cloaks. So maybe we'll do that before we fight the folklore. Um, seeing as how we're going back to dueling anyway. Ellen, where have you been? O'Connell. Right outside your house. <laughs> Something terrible has happened. Come to the church. Oh no, not another murder. Speak of the devil. We missed you. What's going on, guys? This time, Harriet was murdered. Oh, you were gone. Are you serious? What the heck, man? You guys are supposed to keep an eye on each other to make sure nobody gets murdered. Harriet, too, when will this stop? I don't know. This pattern, I've seen it before. Yeah, it's the big door thing. Through the door, then the horrors follow. Oh, snap! That's it! I went through that door a long, long ago. Uh-oh. Finally putting things together, Ellen? You, Ellen, are Cecilia. <gasps> I don't believe it. Your mother claimed that you were dead. Keats, you knew all the time? My past, it's all coming back. My life was overshadowed by an obscure fear. But only now is that fear coming into focus. I must know my roots. Do I dare unmask the horrors of my past? This decision is yours, but I must say, it's only natural to seek the truth. You need time to think. 
or speak to someone you knew young, Cecilia. Whoa, whoa, he's calling me Cecilia all of a sudden. Oh, oh, what? It's weird. It's weird, man. Yikes. So she is Cecilia. How in the world... Something really traumatic must have happened for her to forget her own name. Unbelievable. You lived in this village as a girl? But why those memories hadn't surfaced earlier rather concerns me. You will be able to continue your trips to the netherworld, I hope. Yes, this way I can go ahead and discover the secret of the henge. Uh, maybe you shouldn't go back in there, Ellen. I mean, come on. That's probably what started all this in the first place. <laughs> Cecilia? I have heard that name before. What? My late mother often s screamed the name using terrible words. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Mrs. Lester. What's happening? Hey, wait, she, wait, she's not supposed to be in here. Right? Or is it okay now? Mrs. Lester. Yes? The, that letter that claims Cecilia had died. It was a fabrication. Well, I mean, obviously. Come on. I, I am Cecilia. weren't you Weren't you listening, Mrs. Lester? I am Cecilia. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, I could see the resemblance. Now I remember. I once lived in Doolin. My name was Cecilia, which means. This is a picture of you when you were young. Yes, I remember. There I am. Yes, that's me. Next to my boyfriend, Herv. You were a bright-eyed little angel. Ellen, the entire village adored you. Just what happened to me that day 17 years ago? Uh, something at the Henge. You probably shouldn't go back there. Ever again. Scarecrow? Keats went on ahead. He defeated the folklore and ventured deeper inside. He's trying to disrupt the Fairy Lord's plans. Should you let this happen? I'm not sure. I don't even know if the Fairy Lord is correct in his thinking. <laughs> Ellen, they spend too much time pondering the complexity of things. Ellen, why do you dislike fighting? Why? Consider all that's gone on in this village. Uh, enough to make anyone hate conflict. There's not a single thing to be gained from all this hatred. It only results in suffering. You're right, Ellen. Perhaps if everyone were like you, if they had the burden of be of a tormented, frightful past, then they'd probably stop all the fighting in the first place. Heavens no, I would never want anyone to have to go through the same things. <laughs> you always were such a kind soul, dear Ellen. Well, Ellen, it appears that you have overcome your fears. The miscellaneous in the endless corridor has disappeared. <laughs> But I've yet to remember everything. I have a feeling I may have missed something rather important, in fact. Yeah, like everything. Scarecrow, he said Ellen has always been a kind soul. Is this... Are you my fairy? You're not my fairy. He's a half-life. He's a half-life, dude. I would explain things, though. Why he was waiting for me and stuff. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know about all that. But anyway, uh, looks like we can fight the folklore now, but I kind of want to get these cloaks. <laughs> I 
I don't remember how hard these quests are to get them. Hi guys. I'm not even gonna chat it up with you. What you got? Oop. Hmm. Koro... Koropuna? Koropuna? What is that? Is that what I want? Uh... I think that's a folk. Hmm. Where do I get the, uh... The other cloak from? Maybe it's a daytime quest? Hmm. Man, I don't know. I'll, uh... I'll skip today and see if, uh... It shows up in here. Just a sec. Oh yeah, and I completely forgot. <laughs> Harriet got murdered, what the heck? Why'd she get murdered? It's, it's just like, they brought it up and then they immediately changed the subject to Ellen being Cecilia. And I just kind of forgot about <laughs> the whole Harriet thing. Oh man. Here we go. That's not the one. But look, you get a picture book page from that. I think that's the one I'm missing, too. Really? Huh. Well, now I'm all bamboozled. I don't remember how to get it. Well... <laughs> never mind. I guess we'll just, uh... I guess we'll just, uh, fight the folklore or something. I gotta start doing these side quests off-screen or something. They, they're not really that interesting to, to watch, anyway. Most of them. A lot of them are just like, kill so many of this, go to this area and kill something. Oh, stuff like that. It figures that Harriet would be murdered too, like... <laughs> she never really wanted to just tell me what happened, even though she knew. Now she's gone forever. Well, I guess not forever. The Masuman is gone. The fear must have been purged. I'm amazed that such a terrible fear could have been overcome. Yeah, you know what's funny? Uh, I wasn't actually afraid of it, and then as soon as I remembered that I should be afraid, uh, I'm not afraid anymore. So, I, I don't really understand how that happened either. <laughs> well, there you go. Folklore? Folklore? Yes, no? to this thing. I forgot the name of it. Uh, something rum. We have to spray all these eyeballs with water. Oh, I forgot about these guys. But, uh, yeah, this is a really cool folklore fight. It's just like a, a big room. You have to puzzle your way through. Spray all the eyes. Uh, look out. Oh, you can get this one. The heart comes out. You can slicey dice. Slicey dice. Slicey dice. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> Quite enough of that. Alright. Look out, because this fight starts getting crazy. Giant hands punch the portals in the walls. And in the meantime, we gotta get these eyes again. Oh god. It looks like water's not gonna work, so we gotta use sleepy time. Sleepy time. Duh. Sleepy time. Hi there. 
just gonna ignore you, buddy. You know what? I don't think I ever did fight this as Ellen. I fought, I fought it as Keats. Closing eyeball. Oh, you gotta hit it multiple times. Okay, gotcha. Duh. Hi there. Got hit by both of those. <laughs> that figures. All right, things are gonna start getting really crazy, pretty quick here. One down. See that stuff? Bam! Foot from the ceiling. Yep. Just adding in the body parts. Oh god! Whoops, wrong one. Oh! Dude, the range. Oh god. I am not doing well. I am doing unwell. Stupid arm like wraps around. Go! Good. Okay, okay. You good? Watch out! Slash it! Slash it! Whoa. Get out of it, Ellen. Yes! We did it, except I'm about to get stomped. Cool. And I missed my chance. <laughs> so I gotta survive another round. Let's kill this stupid guy first. Oh god. Was it bed rum? Or something? Something rum. I remember because it's like room, but it's not. <laughs> oh god. How did I get hit? What? Oh no! Can't! Okay. Yeah. Watch the pinky toes. It's the most dangerous part. So I didn't even need, need to use the clock guy, I guess. Oh god. Here we go! Oh no, no, no! Alright, here we go. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> It's my favorite one. I'm screwing it up. Shake the horn! Slam, 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 slam. Woo! There we go. Not too bad. It's pretty uh, creepy. Creepy looking. <laughs> Those nasty blisters. Man.
Oh, how lovely. It's the hinge. What? Why here? Remember that it connected to the hinge? Or something? Something like that? <laughs> Hey, Fairy Lord. And Bogle. What is this place? This is its true form. She's made the folklore into a watchdog for her hideout. What terrifying power! But now is the time to conquer this place and keep them on the defensive. I understand why we must aim for the Netherworld core, but why must we fight Levain? Listen, Ellen, they have put us through a terrible ordeal. The fact that we can no longer move freely between the realms, and that the entrance to the Endless Corridor has been blocked by Baral the Evil Eye. All of this is the work of Levain. Most of the messengers that were with us have lost their lives as a result. Ellen, it is also for your sake. Uh... Well, see, I wouldn't even be put into this dangerous situation if it weren't for you, people. Levain's home base is this way. We shall put them on the defensive by toppling it. This place was created by Levain's memories. I couldn't find it for all this time. From her memories, huh? Why does she remember this hinge? This place was created by Levain herself. But how? Ellen, I imagine that you could do the same. For you, like Levain, are a messenger. So then Levain... Yes, Levain once had the important responsibility of telling dwellers of reality about the netherworld. So that ordinary men and women would be reassured about their fates after death. But then one day, she abdicated this responsibility and disabled one of the twin trees in the Netherworld Core, the tree that controls the human subconscious. Twin trees, huh? The damage to that twin tree is what has so affected the Netherworld? The twin trees form a spiritual link between the Netherworld and the people in the real world. Without the trees, the memories of men would not accrue in the netherworld. Due to Levain's meddling, the link between reality and the netherworld was severed. And now the netherworld is a passive recipient of the ripples of the real world. The mutual connection has been destroyed. We cannot allow this to continue. What will happen to Levain? The courts will decide her fate. She shall receive a punishment commensurate to the gravity of her sins. Man, I don't think I've ever seen that word before. <laughs> now, Ellen, open the entrance to the hinge. These are sacred grounds for messengers like yourself. Show proof of your distinction and the path shall open. Proof? The medallion? Do -do 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 -do. What? The color of the medallion has changed. Uh, what color did it used to be? Bronze. Hmm. Hello, couple of misinemines. Wow, this place is really beautiful. I don't, I don't really want to do this. Hmm. What do these things say? There is nothing to fear, for in the afterlife awaits true happiness. Okay. Now press on with the attack. Uncover the mysteries of death. Hmm. These memories from Levain's time or something? Weird. And it's open. You guys want to go in? 
You must put a stop to Keats and Levain here. We will head to the Netherworld Corps. We can be certain that they will attempt to interfere. Ellen, this is necessary to restore your memory as well. No, it really isn't. Levain's home base is this way. We shall put them on the defensive by toppling it. I already read this. Okay. I, I guess I'm gonna knock Keats's glasses on the ground and run away. Y you big meanie! <laughs> I hear more of those things. Where are they? Oh wow, they're all over the place. We can travel to the netherworld as long as we have the cloak. Levain cannot be located. Perhaps we've done all we can? That woman chieftain Levain has run off. Find her! Hmm. Kill them all. They should thank us. They will reach their precious land of bliss early. Oh my god. The warrior who led the construction of the Henge has taken his own life. This should be the last of them. Huh. So it sounds like there was a battle going on between people who believed in the netherworld afterlife and people who didn't something. And Levain just ran away. Just ran away. <laughs> Greetings, Ellen. Have you come of your own will? Well, not really. The real world is not well in its, in its present state. What? So that's why you've looked to the old world. Or should I say, the old world as the fairy lord describes it to you? Levain, you too are a messenger, aren't you? We were the original natives of the Earth, but we were destroyed by the humans who came after us. I am the final survivor of our race, the last messenger. Why have you done what you have to the Netherworld? Because there are so many people in the world just like you, Ellen. Happiness does not come from nowhere. You must seek it yourself. The human fear of death is the driving force behind human action. Unlimited time on Earth is what makes humankind seek material and spiritual achievement. It is what makes life precious and dear. Ellen, you know little about the world outside a small boundary. Learn from others and look inside yourself. Then and only then will you be able to sort this out. My actions were not a mistake. Ooh. Interesting. You know, psychological. <laughs> Philosophical. <laughs> Please don't kill her, she's my friend. Tch, foolish fairies. Admit your defeat in Hill Realm. Your deeds will go unforgiven for eternity. We will bring Keats to the netherworld and settle this once and for all. We will never allow such meddling again. I haven't the time to wa to waste bickering with the likes of you. Oh man. Where'd she go? Damn, she's run away. Ellen, be patient. Our time has almost come. Our victory is imminent. Ellen, our hopes rest upon you. Why? Maybe I don't want to fight them. What of that, fairy lord? Hmm? Okay, wow. Uh. <laughs> that was a lot of craziness right there. So it looks like we're getting closer to the end. I don't know how close we are, actually. Uh. But yeah, that whole all that stuff Levain said is pretty interesting. If you don't fear death, then 
what motivation do you have to seek joy in life? Huh? Although, even, even if there were, like, this crazy afterlife, wouldn't you steer, still fear death because you'd lose out on living this life? I mean, you wouldn't be as afraid, but... I don't know. Some crazy stuff to think about. Uh... I'm not really sure where I need to go. <laughs> so, I'm just going to end it here because it's been plenty long. Uh, next time, we'll finish up this chapter uh, as Ellen and then get started with Keats. So, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.